But that's it. Got it on me. Like I got Tyree Red in them. We need to tell them nigga what they say they're out of town or whatever. We don't give a fuck. The deal is done. Now the cake been baked. They need to come on with the drama, whatever they gonna do. Other than that, fuck them. We ball. Met at Cafe Gratitude. Take a bitch and post it up for fashion over. She just wanna drink, she ain't never so. My Claire Bubble with Chanel frame. What it do? What's the business, y'all? I'm back with a new video. And in today's video, we got JT the bigger figure. And we got Curtis Snow. Some of y'all might not know who they are, but JT the bigger figure is a well known San Francisco rapper who came out with an album that was well known called Game Tight. If you're from the West Coast, you probably know about it. If you're familiar with music, you probably heard of it. But Curtis Snow is well known for being from the Bluff in Atlanta. It's a neighborhood that's well known in Atlanta called The Bluff. The music artist Rollo is also from The Bluff. But anyway, Curtis Snow did a movie called Snow on The Bluff that was produced by JT The Bigger Figure. You know, but anyway, the two been beefing because JT been saying that Curtis Snow sold his whole life to him by signing a music contract where he gave all his rights for just some pocket change. Anyway, I'm gonna let y'all check out this interview where Curtis Snow had also detailed what was going on. Then I'm gonna get back with y'all with a little bit more right after this. But I'm talking about, I wish I never met her oh, at all. Oh, man. Even though that's my partner. Yeah. He got love for me. But well, boy. Where did it go wrong, Snow? Where did we go around? What I'm talking about since we walked out of your door. Oh my god. When we walked out of your door, the last time you seen that. Yeah. Man, come on, man. In real life. I'm talking about it was like night and day. Yeah. I'm talking about you wouldn't have never thought that this nigga would start playing his character at the movies in real life. Yeah, you, you 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 playing this movie game in yeah. the real world out here, man. You know, JT then went along to defend himself against Curtis Snow by explaining on how he was able to maintain the rights of Curtis Snow and say how he was able to get all of Curtis Snow's rights and all the production that they've done by saying in the next interview that he did on his own channel called Trap Flicks TV, and I'm gonna let y'all take a listen to that. He really was trying to tell Curtis Snow that he was doing them both a favor because Snoop Dogg was trying to screw both of them over in the contract. But let me let y'all hear what uh, JT had to say about the whole situation himself. Not even knowing, JT got the video footage of him signing the contract, number one. JT didn't sign with Snoop Dogg, number two. Nigga, JT, uh, Snoop Dogg tried to play him and me, so therefore, nigga, I didn't let Kurt sign it, nigga, and I didn't sign it. I'm gonna post the real contract Snoop presented me with. I'm gonna show you the documentation. Everybody can pull up who owned Traplex in California and watch whose name come back. Cardoza Brodus, AKA Snoop Dogg, tried to trick me and Kurt. Then he had me work with Dame Dash. Mm. I worked with Dash. He supposed to pay me 100,000 for that Traplex code. He took my code and ran off, nigga, and said, I ain't paying you nothing when me and Snoop fell out. But anyway, man, yeah, this situation right here is getting pretty deep. But let me know what y'all think about this in the comments down below. Because I also got Curtis Snow side of the story. He believed that he's, he's entitled to all of his rights, being that he's his own person. And that he was sucking into signing the contract. But hey, the way it goes contract, once you sign your name on that dotted line, whatever it says, you goes, man. But... Curtis got to find out the hard way, but make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and share this video, man, and check out what Curtis Snow had to say right here at the end, and let me know what y'all think about it in the comments down below. I'll holler at y'all. Peace. What's the hand of my brother? It's love. I appreciate that. Woo, that was some real shit, you heard, Shalonda? If they ain't hating, goddamn, you know what I mean? Yup, you right. Damn sure right. ATL Barbie.
Touring Expo, where you at? Pull up, I'm at the Plaza. Big old sign say Simpson Plaza, you can't miss it. Pull up, hit me when you outside. Yeah, man, because I'm still getting that bag. And these folks didn't jam me to the real white folks who fuck with it. They know what I'm saying. They still fucking with me. The people who talking about spending the real money, they still fuck with me. They the only thing that matter. Nigga thought that they were going to get down, you know what I mean? You already know to the expo. I got it, baby. Mm-hmm. Yeah, hey, yeah, red hat. I let him leave your number in the DM. We we'll got them put this on together, baby. No, a lot of people saying that. See, he making that shit seem like it was a movie or the joke. Yeah, no, then he had the nerve to leave some shit on my uh, answer machine to my, hey, man, let's just go along with it. And, you know, like, make the people think we beefing to boost up everything. Man, I told you, get the fuck on, because I take this shit serious. I ain't got damn, you know what I mean? I ain't joking like that. Hell no, this shit ain't no joke. Don't know nigga own me. Believe what you want. If nigga own me, I wouldn't even be able to make no moves. You know, when they got you in them country like that, you can't do nothing else with nobody. You can't got them make no kind of move. Now I'm all over the place, boy. Fuck what I hate to say. Yeah, they hate me so real, boy. That shit real. With people who don't even know you. You know what I mean? But that come with it. I know that before I even got them signed up for this shit. You know what I mean? I know that that come with it. I ain't worried about shit. I'm prayed up and I got 30 on me. Yeah, yeah. I keep a third on me, man. And we're gonna make sure we video it. Whatever junk gonna be video so it can be justified. A nigga ass gonna be dead and goddamn it, you know what I mean? I'm living on. Cause I stay on point, stay on game. So when I see it, or I feel any kind of anything, I'm whipping that and I'm busting. I'm waiting on the police and all that. We gonna got them go back to all the hating and all that shit. My shit gonna get justified. And I got a lawyer already on deck who know everything. And you better have your lawyer fell. You better have your bun fell. You better have all that ready now. You know, that come with beef. You know what I mean? Tupac told you that, boy. Well, I ain't going to war to my money right. My money halfway right. So, shit, I believe when they come to me with it and they know that, hey, man, these folks started it. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. They was the real aggressor. And, goddamn it, we handled it. I don't walk around on security guards and none of that shit. I keep it steady. And, goddamn it, I keep my eyes open. And on that day, it going down. When it go down, it going down. We can't do nothing to start now. So I ain't worried about none of that fake talk, nigga, talking. None of that shit. We going to see what's going down. I lost one. We ain't losing no more. You know what I mean? It's going all the way down. So fuck your tough talk, nigga. That shit don't throw me all balance in no kind of way, nigga. We ready. You know what I mean? So fuck that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Fuck that. I'm going to block that nigga y'all right quick, and then I'm going to get back on here and holler at y'all, because, you know, it's almost fucking with me a little bit. Y'all know I ain't letting them get to me. You no, know, they can't, you know what I mean? I ain't getting out of character. And never, no way. Nobody will never get Curtis Snow out of character. You know what I mean? <laughs> Don't know. Nigga won't reveal himself because it's a fake page and all that shit. But like I said, I'm gonna goddamn block that nigga, man. I'm gonna get back on here with y'all because I fuck with my motherfucking uh, live fan. You know what I mean? My family, my people who fuck with me, I fuck with y'all. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed, man. ATL hey, Barbie, what's happening, baby? Love you, too. You know that? Damn. I got you four I got you three bills. <laughs> Yeah. Oh yeah, but Atlanta Avenue series, that thing going up. I'm talking about we ain't stopping. It coming. We working. Just working, baby. 
You know what I mean? And for the record, if a nigga owned it, nigga, I wouldn't be able to do none of that. You know what I mean? Should be cut short. Like, hey, man, you know, goddamn. Crazy, man. Hit that my daddy. Exactly, Mike. Out of town, or whatever, we don't give a fuck. The deal is done. Now the cake been baked. They need to come on with the drama, whatever they're gonna do. Other than that, fuck them. We ball. Overtime, cause I ain't have a mic. I was in that Chevy.